The understanding of something new is never trivial, right? Because when you understand something new in one sphere of the human experience, and then you understand something else in another sphere of the human experience, and then you understand yet another thing in another sphere of the human experience, right? All of a sudden, this cross-understanding occurs. An understanding that is more than the sum of the parts, right? You know, like for example, imagine if you're wearing a blindfold, right? And for some reason, it is riveted to your head. Like, let's just say that's, that's the case, right? You know, one way to see is to poke little holes in it, right? You know, if you poke a little hole here, you all of a sudden get this glimpse. Oh, oh, that looks like a tree, right? And then you poke another hole over there and you'll be like, oh, okay, I see a little bit of sand, right? And then you poke another little hole over there and you'll see some water. And eventually, if you poke enough holes, a scene emerges. You're like, whoa, you know, I'm at the beach, right? A greater scene that is more than the sum of the parts. You know, if you just looked at um, through that one hole, you might think you're in the forest if you just saw a tree, right? No, that was, there's a couple of trees on the shore, right? So it is never trivial, ever. And this is why it is important to learn something new every day. Not just to learn, but to come to understand something new regularly. Because over time, a greater of reality will present itself to you. You'll understand more. And also, when you understand more, you start to kind of understand how you understand. Well, if you reflect enough, you'll start to understand your own understanding. You'll start to see your how you think and you'll start to understand your relationship to reality. It's a really neat thing. And it develops over time as long as you're putting effort into knowledge and into thinking and into reflecting and into understanding.